Hey guys, it's Max. In this video, we're gonna be comparing my own Surface Laptop 3, which I really like, against Apple's new 2020 13-inch MacBook Pro. We're not only gonna talk about things like the keyboards, trackpads, displays, performance, but other things such as fan noise, thermal throttling, and more. Let's start out with the exteriors. I'm gonna go ahead and close these laptops up and show you that the MacBook Pro is more compact. It's a little bit less wide and less tall. And even though it is smaller, it is actually denser. It's about 3.1 pounds compared to 2.8 pounds. Now, both of these are made out of aluminum. The MacBook Pro is a little bit more solid and a little bit thicker, but they're both nice. With the Surface, you do have the Microsoft Surface connector for charging and if you wanna uh, use proprietary docks and other accessories. And then on the other side here, the Surface has a standard USB-A port, full 10 gigabit per second speeds, and a USB Type-C port, but it is not a Thunderbolt port, whereas the base MacBook Pro has two Thunderbolt 3 ports, and the higher end one has four, so you can expand much more with the MacBook. The Surface uses a wedge shape, meaning it's thinner than the Mac on one end, and thicker on the other. Because of that extra thickness, Microsoft was able to put in a uh, Windows Hello camera. You guys saw how quick that was, it recognized me. And you just hit enter or space and bam, it logs you in. The Surface doesn't have a fingerprint scanner like the Mac Pro, Pro does, which has touch ID to log in. Now let's talk about the keyboards. The Surface has a nice keyboard with 1.3 millimeters of travel. The keys are fairly clicky. They feel really nice. With the new 2020 MacBook Pro, Apple has its new Magic Keyboard that has one mil of travel and it has a little bit more feedback when you're clicking. It feels a little bit more mechanical, so I do prefer Apple's. Looking a bit lower, let's talk about trackpads. The Surface uses a diving board design, but it is above average for a Windows laptop, definitely usable, whereas the MacBook Pro uses Apple's force touch technology where there's actually magnets in there, meaning you have a perfectly even click anywhere on the trackpad and you can adjust it as well, so Apple's is better. There are two more differences I wanna mention. The first is the speaker grills on the MacBook Pro. We have up-firing speakers, and the Surface, you don't see a grill, but there's two nice speakers hidden underneath the keyboard that are gonna surprise you in just a bit when we compare them. The other difference is the touch bar. A lot of people don't like it on the MacBook Pros. Some people do. Uh, the shortcuts will change depending on which application you have open, and the Surface doesn't have one of those. Now let's talk about the displays and for once in the last couple months, the MacBook Pro actually has slimmer bezels than its competition. The Surface has a 13 and a half inch screen and it's a three by two aspect ratio screen compared to 16 by 10, meaning it is slightly taller and just a bit more square. And Microsoft still stuck with fairly large bezels. That aspect ratio is nice when surfing the web, working on documents, but you do have a little bit larger black bars if you're watching video. Now, as far as detail, both of these displays have just over four million pixels they're both nice and sharp, but the Surface doesn't have anti-reflectivity coatings that are anywhere near as good as the MacBook Pro. You guys can see right here, this one's almost like a mirror compared to the MacBook Pro, which has very little reflections. What makes matters worse is that the display also doesn't get as bright. It gets up to about 400 nits compared to 500 nits on the MacBook Pro. So the MacBook Pro is a lot easier to use outdoors or in bright rooms. The MacBook Pro can also display more colors. If you guys look at this little logo right here. On the surface, it's all one solid color, whereas the MacBook Pro, you see the circle and the little icon on the inside. That's because it can display DCI-P3 colors, so about 25% more colors than the Surface. Now, the one area where the Surface beats out the MacBook Pro's display is off-axis viewing, so it stays a lot brighter if you're watching from the side. And then, of course, you do have a little bit more vertical space for documents. And now let's compare the speakers. Go ahead and put on your best pair of headphones. So as far as speakers, the Surface Laptop 3 is definitely louder, about two decibels on average, and the high notes are a little bit sharper as well, but we are comparing it to the base 13-inch MacBook Pro, and the higher-end $1,800 one actually has improved speakers, so let's go ahead and toss this one up against the Surface.
Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below and I'll give you guys my opinion. One thing that I love about the Surface is how loud those speakers are. But when we compare it to the higher end MacBook Pro, it's interesting because it's still louder when we had those vocals, but as soon as the bass kicks in, it actually lowers its volume down to prevent from distorting. And at that point, the MacBook Pro stays consistent and its dedicated woofers provide a lot more bass and then the mids are actually richer. So if you're gonna be comparing the high spec models of these, the MacBook Pro is better, but on the low end, the Surface is definitely better than that $1,300 MacBook Pro. Both of these laptops use 720p webcams, and here they are side by side for you guys to compare the quality of the video and also the quality of the microphones. The Surface actually has microphones right next to the webcam, so let me know down below which one looks better and then which one sounds better as well. And now let's talk about performance. I'm gonna go ahead and run Geekbench 5's CPU test over here. Now this is where things get a little bit weird. For 2020, the base 13 inch still has eight gen processors, whereas the Surface has 10 gen. But with that said, when we look at the actual performance, the Surface does beat it out, but by only about 13 to 15%, which is still good. Now these are the base models with the i5 quad cores. If you spend more money, the MacBook Pro does also get a 10 gen CPU, but it is an i5, whereas the Surface has a 10 gen i7. So comparing those, the Surface is still faster. The Mac actually does give you an i7 option, costs another $200, and is still slightly slower than the Surface. And because of that, we wouldn't recommend that extra 200 bucks. It's not that different. Now we're gonna talk about full CPU load in just a bit, but first let's talk about the graphics. I'm gonna go ahead and get this OpenCL test started. And since the Surface has Intel's 10th generation chips, they actually have the option to have the G7 graphics, and they did. Even on the base model, you have the best graphics compared to the MacBook Pro's older 8th gen graphics. And as you can see, the Surface Laptop 3's graphics are about 40% more powerful. Now, if you do get the higher-end MacBook Pros, you can get the same G7 graphics, but that costs a lot more where Microsoft is offering this performance at this base price. And now let's compare the SSDs. Both of these models have 256 gigs of SSD, but the Surface, you can actually swap out that module. It does use a small little SSD, and I'll go ahead and link one down below. For about 130 bucks, you can get a 512 gig SSD, which is nice. And now comparing the speeds here, it's very interesting. Both aren't ultra fast, but the MacBook Pro's write speed is more than twice as fast as the Surface. I'm guessing the higher end configurations might be a little bit faster, but for 256, the MacBook Pro is definitely faster. Now, another thing that the Surface Laptop 3 gets is Wi-Fi 6. And in my house, I upgraded my router, and in the toughest corner of my house, with the MacBook, I only get about 90 megabytes per second, compared to about 170 with the Surface. Of course, if you have an older router, it's not gonna make a difference, or if you're close to the router, but in those scenarios, it is nice. And with the MacBook Pro, even the highest end one with 10 gen, you still don't get Wi-Fi 6. And now let's compare fans and thermal performance. I'm gonna run Cinemesh R20, which is gonna max out the CPUs and we're gonna see how these guys perform. Surprisingly, when the surface is plugged in, it's actually pulling 37, 38 watts compared to 25. So it's using more wattage, which is great, but it's also heating up faster. The fans are kicking up sooner, so I'm hearing noise here, but because of that and the wattage dropping, we're now at only 78 degrees Celsius compared to 95 on the MacBook Pro. We're about halfway done now. The Mac is starting to spin up its fans, but it's running at 96 degrees Celsius compared to just 79 on the Surface. Both are using 25 watts and running at about 2.7, 2.8 gigahertz. We're almost at the end now. The MacBook Pro cooled down to 91 one degree Celsius because the fans kicked up and it's quite a bit louder than the Surface. And also because the clock speeds are running at 2.9 gigahertz compared to settling in at 2.4 gigahertz on the Surface. And we have our results. The Surface is about 10% faster, not only that, it also ran about 10 degrees cooler and the fans were quite a bit quieter. Now, if we were testing the higher end models, then we would have an i5 10 gen compared to an i7 10 gen, but both would get roughly 1900 points because Apple's i5 is a little bit faster with the clock speeds, but I do suspect that the Surface would still run cooler and quieter. And now for our verdict. If we're taking a look at these lower end models, the MacBook Pro definitely has a nicer display, brighter, less reflective, better trackpad, uh, but the Surface 
Surface performs a lot better in terms of CPU, in terms of graphics because of 10th gen, has louder speakers, and you can actually buy the Surface, a lower end model that has 128 gigs of SSD for just $999. And keep in mind, for 130 bucks, you can pop in a 512 gig SSD, and that makes it such a great value at the lower price points because of the performance that you're getting. Unfortunately, the screen is reflective, but that's about it. Now, if you're looking at the higher end models, then the MacBook Pro starts to become a better value because for the price point, you're actually, it costs you less uh, for the i5 spec with that similar performance and the same size SSD. And you're getting four Thunderbolt 3 ports where the Surface is just stuck with one USB type C port. And of course, we do have OS differences with the MacBook Pro. You have Mac OS, which a lot of people like. So if you're looking for the higher end models, I think the MacBook Pro is definitely a better buy, but for that low end, the Surface really packs a really good punch. I'm gonna have links where you can get the best deals on both of these down in the video description below. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section and click above to subscribe. If you guys wanna see another great video, we have a couple right over there. This has been Max with Max Tech, and I'll see you in the next video.